If something's not working, check the checklist here to make sure you have everything set up. Go number pad 7, which is the top orthographic view. And with the cube, we're going to scale it. S for scale. And we're going to do it on the X. Now, I didn't have the cube selected. I have to click on the cube and it was going to bring up the wrong menu. So now it's selected. I'm going to go S, X. Uh, just roughly this proportion. It doesn't have to be exact because we change the sizes as we go. Now scale it S, Y. So it's just roughly the same proportion as mine. Go to number pad 1, which is front orthographic view. And scale it on the Z axis. S, Z. Roughly like that. Very easy. Now we go back to the top orthographic, number, number pad 7. And we go to edit mode go out of object mode and into edit mode and we're going to do what they call loop cuts so keep your cursor near an edge like so and then control plus R and then you can s click once and then you can slide your line along when the little arrows come up slide your line now move your cursor to one of the end edges there we go, control R and then slide, click once and slide your line. So click once and slide your line again. And so you've got a border around your uh, key fob. Um, this means the ends will curve at the next step. So now we um, need to go to object mode and I just click tab there for object mode. And we go to the modifiers. And I'm just moving it around and moving in so you can get to the modifiers. And add a modifier and it's a subdivision surface modifier. On the subdivision surface you can now see the ends of the object moving in. But we want two levels. Now we can apply because we're in object mode zoom out. Now it is ready to have a hole cut in it. We go into edit mode, select the face select tool and select the faces that you want to be a hole. So I normally go to numpad 7 once I've selected them and go X to bring up the delete menu and then faces. Okay, now you've got to do this twice because there's a top level and a bottom level of this uh, key fob. So you can either draw a square or shift click for selecting multiple things. Now we have the, the hole through. We have to join the insides of the hole up by selecting the lines carefully. Now you use your mouse roughly in the middle of the line, being careful to only select the level that you're on. Look, this is a top face and bottom face. Then the letter F on your keyboard, F for face. Top line, bottom line, in the middle, face. Top line, bottom line, shift click for the second selection. Click, shift click, F for face. Move your cursor, so your object, shift click, bottom line, F for face. Okay, click, shift click, F for face, shift, uh, click, sorry, shift click, F for face, click, shift click, F for face. And that's just about it for the base. Very simple modelling. If you look like you're getting triangles in those holes where you, where you filled the edges, um, undo and do again because it generally means you've selected too many lines. Okay, now move on to adding your text.